Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm very happy to be for God uh, who gave us this precious time to share the heart of God together uh, with our brother and sister in the morning. Today, let us open the Bible. Uh, today, first King chapter five. First yeah. King chapter five. Let's read from verse one. First King chapter five from verse one. Now Hiram, king of Tar, sent his servant to Solomon because he heard that they had anointed him king in peace of his father, for Hiram had always loved David. Then Solomon sent to Hiram saying, you know how my father David could not build a house for the name of the Lord, his God, because of the war which he were fight against him on enemy side until the Lord put his four under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest in every side there is uh, neither adversary nor evil occurrence, occurrence. And behold, I propose to build a house of the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord spoke to my father David, saying, Your son, whom I will set on your throne in your place, he will build a house for my name. Now, therefore, command that they cut down Sidar uh, for me from Lebanon, and my servant will be with your servant, and I will pay you ways for your servant according to whatever you say, for you know there is none among us who has skill to cut timber like our Sidonian. So it was when Hiram heard those words of Solomon that he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord these days, for he has given David a wise son over the great, uh, great peoples. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have considered the message which you send me. I will do all you desire concerning the cedar and cypress log. Yeah. yeah. Today in the morning, uh, we have read this first King chapter five. As you read the story, uh, this is the story after King Solomon become a king of Israel. And now you can see that now they want to build a um, house in the name of the Lord. As you remember in time of baby, because he was shedding a lot of blood because of the war, that's why you cannot build my house, but your son will build the house of my name. So now in, uh, in verse one, in this chapter five, you are able to see that this is a story like chapter five, chapter six, chapter seven, chapter eight. This is a story where King Solomon built the house of the Lord, right? So now in chapter five and verse one, as we read, <clears throat> verse one says that, <clears throat> now Hiram, the king of Tar, sent his servant to Solomon because he heard that they had anointed him king in place of his father, for Hiram had always loved David. So now you are able to see this Bible say, oh, King Hiram loved, loved David. Isn't it? Always. So I think, uh, I don't know whether even the people of David love the David always. I do not know exactly. So even the people of David, the servant of David, 
whether he love, whether they love the way how King Hiram loved David, right? But this Bible say that he loved David always, always. This is why the time he heard that King Solomon anointed and become a king of Israel, and he sent his messengers to greet. And now <clears throat> King Solomon requests King Hiram to help him to cut the timber from Sedar, from the Lebanons, and also to work together. So now you are able to have some question. Who is King Hiram? Isn't it? Oh, who is King Hiram? Why? Why? Why King Hiram come to Solomon and he say that he loved David always? Who is King Hiram? Then we are able to check from the Bible. <clears throat> uh, if you let's go to the Bible, Second Samuel. Let's go Second Samuel, chapter five. Now, Second Samuel chapter five. David reigned over all Israel. Uh, now. You remember, this is the story, 2nd King chapter, 2nd Second Samuel chapter 5, there is a story how he, they, David and Israel uh, conquered uh, Jebside, who stay in Jerusalem. So there is a Jebside who used to stay in Jerusalem before David. So verse 6, the king and his men went to Jerusalem against the Jebusite, the inhabitants of the land, who spoke to David, saying, you shall not come in here, but the blind and the lamb will repel you, thinking David cannot come in here. Chapter 9. Uh, after they conquered, right? After they conquered, then David dwell in the stronghold and call it the city of David. And David built all around from Milo and in, in word. So David went on and become great. And the Lord God of hosts was with him. So verse 11, you are able to see there is a king Hiram come. So verse 11, then Hiram, king of Tale, sent messengers to David and said, Our three and carpenter messengers, they build house of David a house. So now you can see that King Hiram sent his the messengers to David and Sidar tree and carpenters and masson and they build david house so you are able to see <clears throat> so now you are able to see the relationship between king hiram and uh, david and also israel so the time when king david uh, defeated the jebusite and after they take over this uh, Jerusalem, they put the name called City of the Zion, right? And they build the house of David. So actually, the time, the time King Hiro sent his messenger, and also uh, he sent his messengers, and also sent with the cedar tree and carpenters and marshon. Also, they build the house of David together. So, really, side of David, really, he was thankful towards King Hero, right? And, and like, really, because uh, David didn't ask, David didn't looking for this man. And actually, he is the one who sent this carpenter and mason, even cedar wood. i surprised. Is it right? How you are able to say it like this? But King Hiro say that he Hiram said that he loved David. So you are able to see how King, uh, how he was able to love David, how he was able to put his heart 
to support and helping and working for the David together. How King Hiram was able to see in his heart, because we are able to see that this Bible says, verse 10, so David went on and become great, and the Lord of God of hosts was with him. Then King Hiram came, and verse 12, so David knew that the Lord had established him as a king over Israel, and that he had exerted his kingdom for the sake of his people, Israel. Amen. So now you are able to see this King Hiro, Hiram, King Hiram, how he was able to do for David because he could see clearly how the Lord God of hosts, how the Lord of God is be with David and God he is on who make Israel and David great. So because he saw it clearly, he was able to open all his heart to support David. And also David was able to see uh, how God has established him as a king over Israel. And he, he won't exert his kingdom for the sake of his peoples. Amen. Because after David saw like such kind of king Hiram, how people they support him support Israel, he was able to see clearly uh, how God, he is on who established the Israel for his name, children's sake. So really, I was so surprised. Also, during this time, Pastor Bang many times he testified because, you know, before Corona came, uh, we didn't have a heart to, to put the, the seminar on TV station because as you know, we used to have a Bible seminar in Korea, just a station, the, the, the gymnasium, Corona, and the, this Bible seminar. We used to do it in the church. Bible seminar, we used to do it in the, like this great, uh, the, the stadiums. And also we have old camp in Korea. We have a Bible retreat in the center. So we used to do within ourselves. But because of Corona, since we failed to have this offline uh, seminar, that's why we are able to start with the TV and radio station. And now as you see the result, how so many people, so many stations, they open their heart to put Pastor Park message on TV, amen? Even on Sunday, also NTV, they put our opening ceremony and closing ceremony and also message of servant of God, amen? So really I was so thankful, I was very happy, right? I was very thankful and I was very happy Really, how God opened the way. So even Pastor Park say that really after he saw clearly how so many TV and radio stations they opened their heart to broadcast. Really, he could see ah in the last generation, really God want to deliver this true gospel all corner of the world through our church through Good News Missions. Amen. Really, we are able to see clearly. So now also you can see that. Um, really, what you're able to see, King Hiram, he could see clearly how God is working with David and working with Israel. So he opened all his heart and no, no one asked him. No one asked his people. No one pushed him. But by himself, he opened his heart. He come to David to support Israel together. And now you are able to see, yet they are same Gentiles. Now you see this Jebusite and also so many, the, the, the tribe, the people in Ghana, Ghana, who again is Israel, is it right? Because yet David is the same anointed by God, yet David is the same, but now you are able to see there is a Gentile who again is David and there is a Gentile who support David. Are we together? Yet David and Israel, they are same, but really the king of Jericho, like take Israel as an enemy, but this Lahab realized that 
really God is be with Israel and he want to open the way for Israel. So now you can see that yet this is the same David, yet this is the same Israel, but there is a people who again is a David and there is a people who open their heart and can see clearly how God is working with them and be with them and peace with them and support to this work God together. So now really we can see that how this is so blessed and wise and this King Hiram he is very wise and his heart is so beautiful, right? If you see Bible for first Corinthians, Let's see, first question. First Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen. First Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen. Yeah, we read it together. Verse eighteen. If you see, you can read also. So verse eighteen. For the message of the cross is foolish, foolishness to those who are perish. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Amen. So what this Bible say? For the message of the cross, for the gospel of Jesus Christ, for the gospel of the cross is a foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. So for the people who are perishing, eh, this message of cross, the gospel of cross, that is just foolishness. But those who are, who are being saved, this is the power of God. In another mean, the people who are thinking that this is a foolish. The people who despise the message of the gospel, the people who despise this gospel of Jesus Christ, they, they will be perish. The people who think that they, this is the power of God, they will be saved. They will be blessed. Hallelujah. Yet you can see that this is the same David, but this Jebusite and so many Canaanite peoples they again is a David. Finally, they despise David. Finally, what happened? They perish. But really, this King Hiram, he could see the power. Amen. He could see how God is working with David and Israel. That's why they are able to support. They are able to love. They are able to together with David. Amen. They will be blessed. And they are able to use so beautiful, beautiful, precious work of God to build house of the Lord. Hallelujah. So really, brothers and sisters, I saw even in our church, there is many brethren who are serving this gospel. And if you see people, they despise. Hey, what are you doing from there? What are you getting from there? Yes, of course, the family members, or some friends, or relative, your relative, your friends who didn't receive salvation in their eyes. When you see them, when I mean, when they see you, the people who are working for the gospel, who are serving for the gospel, who preach the gospel, who are serving this church, looks like foolish, right? But the people who knows. Oh, really, this is a true gospel. 
This is a true church. I really, God want to preach the gospel. Eh? God want to preach the gospel in all corners of the world through Good News Mission, through this church. This is a true gospel. There is a power in this gospel. There is a power to save the soul of the people. The some people who knows exactly how God is working with us and how God wants to deliver this gospel all come up with the world. The people who knows, they are able to love. Amen. They are able to serve. They are able to work for the gospel together. But even though they are coming to church, if they don't see that power in this gospel, they don't see how God is working, then they despise church. Even not only just family member who didn't receive salvation, not only the people who are outside, even among the brother, even our church brother and sisters, even though they are coming our church, but if they don't see that power, they don't see how God is working with us, then they despise church, then despise this gospel, then they despise the, any work of this church. Though their body is coming to church, they despise. But the people who see clearly oh, how God is working, yeah, really this gospel, there is a power to save the soul of the people. Yes, this is a true gospel. Yes, through this gospel, God wants to save the people. Yes, the people, the brother and sister, who knows exactly, then they are able to serve this gospel together with the boldness. Not because the pastor Kim is pushing them. Not because the someone is pushing them. Brothers, pray. Brethren, you preach the gospel. Brethren, you offering before God, giving the tithes before God. Brethren, you witness your member. Not because of someone is pushing. Really, some brothers and sisters, who knows exactly the power of gospel in this church? Then, even though no one say to them, but really they are able to love. Really they are able to walk. They are able to serve together. They preach the gospel together with the boldness. Now, brother, to you, you see clearly there is a Jebusite who despised David. Finally, they despised. They perished. But what about this king hero? Though no one said to him, but they could see clearly, ah, God is being with David. God is raising David. I should be with them. I will support them. And now, Chapter uh, first, first King chapter five, in the time of building the house of the Lord, who is using, right? Even this time, King Hero come to Solomon, and Solomon ask help, ask help from the King Hero, right? And finally, you are able to see, uh. Anyway, they discuss many things. If you read the chapter, of, chapter five, you are able to see they discuss many things and then they agree. And then also Solomon prepared 30,000 people. Every month they send 10,000. Every month they send 10,000 to the uh, Lebanon and then 20,000 they, they left at home for two months. So in rotation, one month, one month, they send 10,000, right? And now this Bible says, so Solomon's builders, Hiram's builders, and their Gavanite carriers, them, carriers, them, they prepare timber and store to build the temples. Amen. Really, you are able to see how it is so beautiful. Now, you can see this temple of God, the house of the Lord, not only Israel, these people who are building, you are able to see that also these Gentiles, even Hiram's builders, they are building together for the house of the Lord. What does it mean? Really, this house of the Lord, this temple of God is not only for Israel, not only for chosen peoples. Yes, all of us, even you, even me, all of us, we are uh, like Gentile. We are not qualified to, we are not qualified to do this work of gospel, but God has opened the way to build even Gentile, even the Jews, to build together. Amen. Because this house is not only for Israel, this is for everybody. So, really, God opened the way for us to participate to build house of the Lord. Amen. 
So uh, really, I'm very happy before God, also all brothers and sisters, we can participate this great work of gospel together to build the house of the Lord in Uganda together. Amen. Yes, today, we are able to see two kinds of people, two kinds of eyes, someone who saw clearly the power of the Lord, and these people who didn't see anything, then they despise. Really, unfortunately, even in our church, even though some people, they are coming to church, but they don't see that power, and they are looking for physical help or looking for the out appearance, that's why easily despising church, easily despising the gospel, despising the servant of God, and they are just living in their own way. But there is a brother and sister with the people who saw clearly the power of God in this gospel, and God is using this mission to preach the gospel all over the world. They are able to move like King Hiram, to be with the King in the Israel, to work together, that's why finally they are able to participate this work of God together. Uh, I'm very happy before God who gave us this precious time to share the heart of God together with our brother and sister together. And today also we meditate this heart and I hope that this word of God give us strength and power. Thank you so much. We finish here. Thank you.